You can call me Atlas. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to be starting on the tool wall behind me and starting to put up tools for that. So we've got this shelf up here and I want to kind of jump into that and see what I did to make a fairly simple live edge shelf. Once more, let's start with white oak. Yes, white oak, I love this piece. Now this is a, a piece I've been saving for a little while. It's from a stock that I got about two years ago. Um, air dried, it's been out, outside for most of its life and has some great co color in it. And uh, it has a live edge on it, so I thought that would make a great use for a shelf for this. I really don't have to do a whole lot other than flatten and smooth the two sides. So I'm gonna hit it with a scrub plane and then come in and clean it up, much like I do for dimensioning, but uh, just having to do the two sides. The uh, big part on it that I have to do is actually cutting these gussets that will support it underneath. And I'm going to make three of these triangles that will get screwed to the wall as well as to the shelf. And I'm just cutting those out of a scrap piece of white oak I had left over. Good chance to uh, play with the Japanese style saw. And uh, they're cut 45 degrees, about uh, 9 inches long on either side. Once I get all three cut up, I can put them in the vise, line them up together, and plane them down. Um, I don't know if they're exactly 90 degrees. I really don't care about that as long as they you know, look 90 degrees and they're all the same angle. Next, I can drill out the hole that will go into the bottom of the cleat and into the wall. And I'm just using the egg beater drill to drill out, and then I'll come in with the countersink and uh, bore the countersink so that the screw actually has a place to go. Here you can see the countersink, and then I'm drilling through the top into the wall as well. And it's kind of like a pocket hole, but into the wall. The last thing I need to do before finishing on these cleats is to clean them up. I'm going to plane down all the edges and smooth off all the, the saw marks. Um, but most importantly, for the trim detail, I'm going to be putting on a, a chamfered edge. I like a, a simple chamfered edge, um, nothing special. These will get hidden eventually, so I don't need anything heavily detailed. On the live, live edge of the shelf, I'm going to be cleaning that up with a draw knife. I love doing this. It's very simple, very fun. I get to clean up all the, the junk. and uh, it. it you have to be careful because you have a tendency to take off a lot too much <laughs> because it's so much fun you just keep going and keep going and keep going but uh, eventually you can get rid of most of the junk with that then I'll come in with a spoke shave and just smooth out the whole surface I want it to feel good and uh, just give a nice rounded edge and have that uh, natural live edge look to it and a spoke, spoke shave is just such a fun tool once you play with it it's, it can leave a surface perfect and ready for finish now to match the uh, the chamfers on the gussets, I'm also going to be putting a chamfer on the underside. There's about two feet at one end that has a, a straight edge from the saw. So putting a chamfer on that just kind of connects it with the gussets a little bit. And then of course, it wouldn't be a wood by right channel without BLO on white oak. And I love this part. This is when you see all the colors coming out of this. Especially with this um, outdoor dried... Um, white oak. It just has so much color and so much depth to it that it, uh, it explodes. And uh, this is one of the things why I love working with white oak. I've had a lot of people ask me why I use white oak. It is a difficult wood to work with, especially with hand tools. It is hard. It is, um, it is open grained and it's a, it can be very tricky, especially with all the grain that goes everywhere. But with color like this, it is just so worth every moment of it. And that's one of the reasons why I love white oak. Next, we can actually then go and install it onto the wall. I put um, two screws through the cleats into the studs and then put the shelf up on there. And then I can pre-drill down through the shelf into the cleats and hang it up. And all I have to do is load it up, put the planes on the shelf, and now I can easily um, identify all my planes and look at their profiles. A lot of fun. There you have it. A very simple, very easy live edge shelf. Most people could build this in a day. And I kind of like its simplicity. Uh, there really isn't that much to it, but it is very functional and has a good look to it. At least I think it does. So in the future here, I'm gonna be putting up um, a plane till and a saw till and other tool racks and things underneath this. This is the first step on this whole process. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please hit like and go and hit that subscribe button. If you wanna see some behind the scenes footage, I have a second channel right over here with a lot of that. I wanna say thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why this channel keeps going. If you'd like to help out or find out more about that, you can do so right down here. 
That's about it for today. Until next time, have a wonderful day.